Okay. I'm Bob Reynolds. I'm a research associate at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science uh, in Denver, and I am a geologist. I study rocks. I'm Carl Chambers. I'm the forest hydrologist for the Arapaho and Roosevelt National Forest and Pawnee National Grasslands in central Colorado, and I study water. So we're standing here on the shores of Grand Lake. You can actually see the lake right behind us. And Grand Lake is uh, at the very head of, very close to the headwaters of the Colorado River watershed. Um, in fact, you can see the Continental Divide right behind us. The top of the mountains are, are the Continental Divide. And the Continental Divide is a big ridge that runs clear down through North America. It starts up in Canada, runs down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, on down through Mexico and on uh, down through Central, uh, 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 Central America. And it essentially divides where the water ends up. All of the water that falls west of the Continental Divide eventually ends up in the Pacific Ocean. And all of the water that falls east of the uh, Continental Divide eventually ends up either in the Gulf of Mexico or in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, I said that we were close to the top of the watershed. A watershed is just the area that all of the precipitation that falls on that land area drains to a central point. And um, so there's kind of two things about the watersheds. First of all, the water flows downhill, so it concentrates as it goes downhill and flows to a central point. And there are also the, the fact that small watersheds nest in bigger watersheds, which nest in even bigger watersheds. So that we're standing kind of at the confluence of two small watersheds, North and South Inlet. Those are the two valleys in the mountain behind me. And they contribute flow directly to Grand Lake and kind of make up the watershed right at this point. But we're also standing in the watershed of the Upper Colorado River, which runs clear down to the confluence with the Green River. And the Colorado and the Green are the two big water, uh, two big rivers that make up the Colorado River watershed. And we're also standing in the larger Colorado watershed that runs clear to the Pacific Ocean. So we're going to have a poll here in, uh, for just a minute, and we're going to ask um, you all to uh, uh, take the poll and tell us where the water uh, that goes past uh, your house or your school, where does it end up? So it seems like... Uh, for many of you, the water ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Others, I see it ends up in the Atlantic Ocean. And then quite a few of you, your water ends up in the Pacific. So your water is going in many different directions.